the Fed paper on CBDCs, the SEC actually wrote me back, and a few updates for the channel I need to share with you. But if we haven't met before, my name is Frank Cho. I'm here to help you live a richer life. And on this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, personal finance, and investing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it now. That way I can keep you informed. First things first, I just wanted to give you a few channel updates. A, a big thank you to everyone for the kind words. Yesterday, my grandfather passed. I posted this on the community page, just a, a picture of him. When I went to go see him uh, over Thanksgiving for the last time that I, I would get to see him uh, back in Texas, uh, the thing that always struck me, or the thing that struck me then was uh, on the wall, there were a lot of pictures, but um, in every one, no matter who was in the photo, uh, he was the one holding me. And um, I'll be greatly missed. Uh, he was a person of honor, and uh, he taught so many valuable lessons. And so I will strive my best to um, live up to his memory and to make sure to honor the things that he did. He was uh, a hero to us and uh, a hero to many, uh, no medals or special commendations or anything, but he did his duty. He served uh, his country in World War II. He was in the Navy. He was at the Battle of Iwo Jima. He was on a minesweeper. Um, he was an assistant gunner uh, on the anti-aircraft gun, and um, he, he was just a great person, and uh, I will truly miss him and uh, strive to live up to his legacy. Now, switching gears, and uh, apologies, it's it's still a fresh wound, so I'm, I'm going to get through this, but uh, do bear with me with a little patience, and apologies, um, you know, for maybe not having my full composure uh, today. But uh, the crypto market's up about a percent. I think we bottomed out, uh, at least for the time being. We'll see if we can get a good start to the week, but you can see Bitcoin at 35, Ethereum back to 2400, XRP at 60 cents. And then you can see that DOT's now out of the top 10. Uh, Doge managed to jump it, uh, but they're kind of neck and neck right now at 18.1 billion and 17.9, respectively. I would expect DOT to uh, have a recovery here and jump back into the top 10, but we'll see how the week plays out. Now, the Fed released their study on a U.S. CBDC, the digital dollar, and has not taken an official position. And I know this is a couple days old. When I came back from Miami, I downloaded the paper. It's 40 pages. I read the whole thing um, on the way back. Uh, it was a lot of flying. So I had plenty of time to get through it and kind of think through the uh, repercussions or the implications, rather, of what they had to say. And honestly, it wasn't really that impactful as far as taking any kind of position. As you can see here, this is an article from CNBC, but basically every major media outlet has covered this to a certain extent. But uh, again, they released a paper on Thursday. 40-page document. It talked about a lot of issues and was soliciting public comment on, I believe there were 21 different topics uh, that they asked for comment on. So uh, if you feel so inclined and feel that you can uh, add to that, do please uh, reach out to them through uh, their uh, website and provide that information if you are, again, so inclined, if you, you feel that uh, the you know, experience or background that you have would be able to provide them some meaningful insight on CBDCs or even just, you know, from your investment perspective, um, what your take is. But in the paper, again, 40 pages talking about CBDCs in general, money transfer, uh, how money works in the public domain here or in the public um, system, you know, the way the Fed operates and how it partners with commercial banks. Um, but it looked at some of the benefits here. So it said it provided an exhaustive look at benefits such as speeding up electronic payments at a time when financial transactions across the world are already highly digitized. Some of the issues, though, that they talk about are financial stability risks and privacy protection while guarding against fraud and other illegal issues. Privacy is one of the big concerns that uh, we've heard, of course, about a CBDC. If the government can see every single transaction you ever have, then you certainly have your privacy uh, kind of stepped on a little bit. So how do you ensure that transactions are truly private there you're not being snooped on for every sandwich you buy but um, you know things that need to be considered things that need to be discussed uh, the report says a CBDC could fundamentally change the structure of the U.S. financial system 
altering the roles and responsibilities of the private sector and the central bank. Now, Jerome Powell has been non-committal in his comments about a CBDC, and the biggest advocate we have for CBDC in the U.S., at least, is Fed Governor uh, Lael Brainerd, who is now nominated to be vice chair of the Open Market Committee at the Fed. So several other officials have voiced concerns, and the main difference between the Fed's dollar and other digital transactions is that digital money right now, when you use your credit card or debit card, it's a liability of a commercial bank, whereas the CBDC would become a liability of the Federal Reserve. So it would mean the Fed wouldn't pay interest on money stored with it, though because it's riskless, you might have a preference to have your money with the Fed. There's no risk of default there uh, because, again, it's housed with the Federal Reserve. So there are 22 items, so apologies, I said 21 earlier, but it is 22 items they're looking for feedback on. There's a 120-day comment period. The clock has already started there. So just under four months uh, remaining there, federal uh, or Fed officials say the report is just a first step of a in extensive process, but there's no timetable. So again, they're just seeking comment. This is very early stage. Uh, they'll get commentary from all across the board, from professors, from executives, and from the general public. And they will, of course, have to then, after getting that, they'll have to digest it, create some other kind of report, I'm sure, and then it has to go and be discussed with the policymakers. So again, no position taken and a lot more to come, but uh, at least the discussion is being had. Comment below what you think about a digital dollar. Do you think we should have a CBDC or do you think that it will infringe on our privacy? Let me know what uh, you're thinking. I have my own thoughts, but uh, I'm curious what's on your mind. Now, if you recall here, we previously had this video that I posted talking about the need for a crypto voice with the SEC Investor Advisory Committee. In this video, which I'll link below, I requested your help to write to the Investor Advisory Committee and to, you know, um, suggest or ask them to consider me for this. Uh, in the video, again, link below, uh, I explained my professional background and why I thought that I could pro provide a meaningful voice here. So please check that out if you are so inclined. But in there, uh, I did put in the video description an email that could be easily copied and pasted and sent to the SEC uh, asking them to consider me. Well, we've started to get responses from the SEC on this. So uh, courtesy here on Twitter of Eric J. Wright, uh, he said that the emails are being seen. This is a response he got. Mr. Wright, thank you for your email. We appreciate your interest in the work of this important committee. If we need additional information, we'll be in touch with you. And so they uh, did actually respond to his email. And a big thank you to everybody who did uh, send a message in. Uh, I appreciate the support here because I think it will make a big difference to have someone with uh, a professional finance background and also a digital asset investment background here. Um, most of their people on the committee uh, don't have experience with digital assets, and we really need a voice for the crypto community uh, on their committee and really someone who they can't say no to because they have the full background that they're looking for. I, too, got a response, so I thought I would share this. Uh, they said, Dear Mr. Cho, of course, that's me. Thank you for submitting your application of interest for a position on the SEC's Investor Advisory Committee. We appreciate your interest in the work of this important committee. If we need additional information, we will be in touch with you. Thank you, the Investor Advisory Committee, nominating committee, committee, committee. But uh, it's good to see at least they're seeing our email. So if you do feel uh, willing to support this uh, effort to try and get a crypto voice on the Investor Advisory Committee, do please uh, check out the video and uh, submit an email. Again, it's here. All you have to do is copy and paste it. Uh, and feel free, of course, to change any of the language or anything as you feel inclined. I just tried to draft something that was uh, professional and cited every point that they have for consideration. I read all their documents, everything they're looking for. And so I tried to hit all of those points. So there was no way that they could rationally say no. That way, if they did say, no, we don't want you or we don't want to talk to you, then it's irrational, which means something else is going on entirely. 
Now, as we close out here, I just uh, want to let you know over the next week or so, I'm going to have to travel back to Texas uh, to handle some of the final arrangements, the funeral and everything for my grandfather. So um, there might be a little gap here in the next weekend or you'll see me maybe traveling. So just to keep you up to date on that. And, you know, as we think about things, I know it's been a rough few days in the market. Um, our crypto investments are important, but the more important thing to hodl is your family. Uh, family is the thing that will carry you through all the stress and strain in life, and they are the ones that will be there for you in your darkest times, but also in your best of times. So hold on for dear life because they're what matters the most. Thank you so much for spending some of your time here with me. I truly appreciate it. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Enjoy some time with your family and close friends. And I will see you in the next one.